Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to open up another box of 1987 tops. Actually, just half of it to make the video a little shorter. Um, we're gonna to try to get that McGuire. We're gonna to try to get that Bonds. We're gonna to try to get that Bo Jackson rookie. We were unsuccessful last time. Last time we opened up a box, we only got the two Barry Larkins and two Will Clarks, a bunch of other stars. Um, but let's get right into it. We're gonna get some McGuire's. Hopefully, some good quality Meguiars. And like always, we're going to throw the gum in our gum box until it's filled up, which is going to be filled up really soon. But let's get some good cards here. Come on, I need really just those three cards. Bunch of pirates, but Alan Tremel, Mike Greenwell. Oh, that was the gum card. That was the... Guy I thought was going to be famous, and I have about 50 of those cards. Fortunately, I didn't save a ton of the Maguires. I had a few in my collection. That's sticking, right? No. Come on. Dave Stewart, Reount. That pack looks familiar. The Yount, the George Bell, Keith Moreland. Had a a few packs like that. Dwight Gooden. That's a good Dwight Gooden card. Uh, actually, no, it's not. Look at that. Jeez. Tore right there. Oh, look. No, it's perfect. You can't even tell. <laughs> that one actually looks really good, too. It's a lighter um, color to it. As you can see, some of them have like a darker stain around the border. Some don't. These cards are in actually really good condition, except for that one. And I'm not really looking at uh, centering, but they seem to be pretty good. So, I've opened up, this will be the third actual box I've opened up of 87 tops, and I have gotten uh, one McGuire so far. Vince, that's actually probably my first Vince Coleman card. Is that his rookie? No. Um... Earl Hershiser. There's a Palmero rookie. We'll take a look at that in a minute. BJ Surhoff. But I've gotten one McGuire and four. Actually, I think I've gotten more McGuire's than that. But I've gotten uh, I got four Bonds in the last the last uh, box I got. That's actually in pretty good condition. It's a little off center, a little off center on the back. But hey, our first hit so far. Let's put it up there. Actually, you can't see it in the video. Right there. Really want some Meguiar's and some Bond. I really want Meguiar. I say that in every video that I open up these 1987 tops. There's John Crook, second year card though. Ricky Henderson, turn back the clock. And I don't know the order of the cards where Meguiar might show up. So if you see a couple cards, you go, uh oh, Meguiar's coming next or Bonds is coming next. I don't know how that works. George Brett, got a little ding on it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna throw that out there because right now that's our second best hit. King Griffey, just the wrong one. Cal Ripken, Dwight Gooden, All Star card. Harold Baines, and that was the dumb card. Really hope a wire is. And a Bonds won't be the gum card. Lenny Dykstra. Strawberry. That's a good strawberry card. I'm sure I've gotten that card a few times. And I'm sure most of the times I don't save it. Okay, here we go. Mm, like that. Clark, Pat Dobson, Future Stars. Uh-oh. Well, there's bottom left is not good. This could be a bad box like the other one. The other one just had the two Larkins and the two Will Clarks. They were in pretty good condition, I believe. Oh, 
Bobby Bonilla, Eckersley. I don't even know why I'd be keeping that one. Oops, I don't know. I open up a pack of gum. I'm gonna open up a pack of cards and throw the gum in there. Um, right there. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's starting to get hot in the garage. I'm feeling the heat. Nope. Quick interruption. It came out. Wanted to ride bikes, so we rode bikes for a little bit, and it's about, oh, there is the card. Uh, okay. See it? Right there. Oh, that actually looked like I just, like, put it into the pack because I just got back, like, an hour later, riding bikes outside. Oh, wait, let's, I'm gonna look at this pack. Uh, we're gonna analyze this pack. Um... Let's take a look at this Mark McGuire. Holy moly. That looks like a good Mark McGuire card. The corners are good. It's centered good. Well, I should be saying well. How's the back? Oh, it's not perfect. But that looks like a good nine. It is just a little, a little off. What if I get... Oh, man. Dang it. But oh, happy to get it, though. I mean, definitely happy to get a good one. I do not have um, a sleeve out here. Nope, I don't have a sleeve. Um, let's take a look at this pack because I want to know kind of what's in the pack. If I can remember. Randy Myers, Ortiz, Vita Blue, Pendleton. There's a strawberry in there. Um, man, right when I came back, I got one. I was actually riding bikes to my kids and like, dang it, am I going to get another Maguire or a Bonds? And boom, got it. Oh, stoked about that. Going to have to get that into a sleeve and a top loader. And that will be one for sure that, uh, I'm going to get graded. Robbie Thompson. I think that's the first Robbie Thompson I've seen. All right, so we're down to about six, seven packs left, six packs left, six packs left. Man, that was awesome. That made my day. I was so upset that I didn't get in that other box that I bought. Again, these box boxes I've been buying were on Etsy. People had some pretty good deals. They're like, uh, they're like 20 bucks a box, which is crazy because back in the day you used to be able to get these probably like five bucks because nothing was worth anything in here the bonds was really the main card the wire is probably worth a buck maybe in good condition more but um yeah spending about 20 bucks a box basically and hey if you get one of those hits right there like that just makes up for it right even if that's a nine a psa nine don sutton ron say would love to get a Bonds. Come on. I don't think I've seen, oh, maybe I have seen these. Did I just see these in the last pack? Uh, don't know. I've seen Ozzy Smith. Oh, these cards are. I think it's the powder on the, the gum that just kind of gives it a weird feel. Another Dwight Gooden. And I think that was a Tettleton that I saw too. And that Dwight Gooden and Gary Carter. Did I see that too? I think I've seen this pack before. So no hope in this one, I'm sure. Oh, actually Wally Joyner, it's kind of screwed up on the bottom. I'm not gonna keep that. I've gotten a lot of Wally Joyner cards recently in 87 tops. And don't wanna peek at all the cards, but it's kind of hard to when you split it up like that. Another Vince Coleman. So I'm sure I've had this pack already. Mickey Hatcher, Keith Hernandez, Whitaker. Mark Langston. Nope. Okay. We're down to last pack. Hey, I'm happy that this is half the box. We're going to open up the other box and or the other part in another video. I believe I've had the Oral Hershizer pack. Yep. And the John Crook. So it doesn't look like another Dave Brigetti. Man, 
Steve Carlton. Carlton Fisk. And that is it. We got the Mark McGuire in the first half of the box. A really good Mark McGuire card. Really stoked about that. The back is not perfect, but it is still pretty good. I'm going to go put that in a sleeve and a top loader. And if you guys like the video, give me a like and I'll see you guys around.